also see the doors at the rear of the aircraft, which opens to allow the main aircraft carriers, which are being built in Scotland, are the only aircraft carriers in the world designed specifically for the F-35B Lightning. discuss air power from the organization, the training, the equipping, and then of course the deploying and employing aspects. And uh, the fact that we're able to do it all in one location makes it a very effective opportunity to elevate the quality of air power. That was General Frank Lawrence explaining the significance of having NATO allies attend the largest military air show, while the U.S. proudly displays its newest asset to air power the F-35. Instead of talking about it in a theoretical way, actually get to see the aircraft fly and land and we can talk about it and they can actually feel, you know, the power of the aircraft. With the F-35A and B model flying along with the F-22 during the air show, it showcases the joint force that the Air Force and other militaries have with each other. Flying in the same equipment, flying with built-in interoperability, flying with the same tactics, techniques, procedures, flying in most cases the same kind of weapons is really important in the ability to generate precise combat power overnight. 
The sellout crowd of 153,000 people witnessed U.S. air combat power firsthand, making this year's air tattoo and the U.S.'s involvement a success. Sergeant Jeff Saintsever, RAF Fairford, United Kingdom.